Hi, I'm Isabel Palmer, author of the book House Plants, and today I'm going to show you how to plant up a succulent bulb. So I've just got this salad bowl, so you can really use any kind of vessel. Um, this is uh, quite deep, but you can use a, a shallower bowl if you've got one, anything really um, to hand. So at first, I'm just going to put uh, a, a kind of two inch level of gravel in the base. This is because succulents really don't like to be watered uh, very much. And if they do, it's a really good way of kind of separating the water from the soil so that they're not going to drown. So here I've got some cacti and succulent compost. This is really important that you have a very kind of gritty, gravelly, sandy compost because this helps with drainage. And one of the things about cacti and succulents is they don't like a lot of water. So we really need to have that so that the water can drain off rather quickly. And then I've just got an array of succulents and cacti. Once you've filled the base with um, your layer of gravel, the next thing to do is add in your compost. So I'm just going to really fill this to about halfway full and then you can start to position your um, plants to see which kind of layout you want to use. So I've got about half, um, half of the pot filled now. Um, really, you just want to kind of play around with the plants, get the, the, you know, the look that you want to have before you start planting up, just to make sure it looks nice. Um, and I'm just going to take um, a few from this selection. I've got this cacti here. A really good tip if you're actually handling the um, cacti is to use a piece of paper just so you don't get any spikes in you. So um, once I'm planting up, I can use that then. And then once you've done that, you can start planting up. So I'm just going to take it out of the pot. The one thing about this is if the... Um, root ball is a little bit too big, you can just take some of the base of the soil off just so it kind of fits in nicely. You really want to just have the petals just above the rim of the pot. So I'm just going to continue planting these up and when I get to the cacti I'm going to use my piece of um, card or paper. So you just take basically the plant area and encase that in the paper just so that you don't get any prickles on you and then I'm going to put that in the middle and then I'm just ready to put in the other plants now normally when I get to about halfway in the um, middle of the pot I'm just going to add some more soil around the actual plants it's just a bit easier than adding it all in at the end so just take it and just fill it so that all of the plants are surrounded by a good amount of soil. Don't worry too much if you get them on the, the succulents, you can brush that off later. And then you need to take a, a paintbrush or any kind of um, bristle brush just to kind of clean off the succulents. And you can do this as well at the end, but I just do it halfway through as well before I put the gravel on just so that I don't get bits of compost on top of the gravel as well and just do it really delicately I mean these are quite hardy plants anyway but um, they have lots of different bristles on so that's when the compost gets stuck in them but they should come out if you just gently brush them off anyway Okay, so next we are ready to put in the gravel. Now this gravel I've got is aquatic gravel. It's um, probably really the best one to use because it's got no toxins in. It's just free and um, you're not gonna cause the plants any harm when you um, put this on top. So I just kind of um, either use my hands or you can just use um, a trowel that you use and gently pour this in. Just, you want to cover where all of the compost is showing. And I just pour it in and then I kind of level it off after. And it just really gives a nice finish to your bowl. And uh, also it, it kind of goes well with the succulents and cacti as well, because that's kind of emulating their desert landscape. And when I put that a good amount in, I can just push 
the gravel to some of the bits that haven't been covered and uh, push that down as well so that you get a nice kind of flat, even layer on the top. And then I'm going to get my brush again and just, you might get a few bits of gravel on top of the um, succulents and you can just brush those off as well. In terms of watering, you really want to use a little bit of trial and error. So if you see the, the leaves are looking a little bit dry um, and you know the soil's a bit dry, then give it a little bit more water. And if they're looking very kind of, you know, shriveled up and wet, and um, then obviously you've been over watering it. So just really kind of have a look and, and monitor how your um, watering's going. And then obviously in the winter, I don't really water them very much at all because there's not a lot of humidity and heat to um, allow for water evaporations. And there you go, you have your finished succulent and cacti bowl. For more tips and ideas of what you can do with houseplants around the home, take a look at my book, Houseplants. Thanks for watching and good luck with your planting.